Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna outdo the last video, the double feature, whatnot sketchiness. We're gonna go with the triple feature in this one. Again, this is uh, some of it is like a learning lesson. But we're gonna we're gonna slightly give the benefit of the doubt on some of these occasions here. This first one, I mean, uh, yes, it's all egregious enough that we should assume that mm, yeah, there, there's a there's there's a bad intentions by the seller. But again, this this all comes into when you have razzle dazzle mixed wazzles, when you have all kinds of gambling and games, game gambles, gamble games that are associated with all of this stuff, you get more and more issues. There's a reason why the uh, the authorities, wherever you are, the government, etc., why not just because they want to put their hand in the cookie jar, but also the fact that they got to make sure that people are playing by the rules. If you have a casino. If you have an online casino, all of this stuff, there are rules and regulations. They make sure that all of that is in place. When you have a bunch of whatnot, Wiener Baby 69s that are running all the shows, that are running all the games, that are coming up with new games, that are doing different games all the time, you're going to have issues even if they aren't trying to rip people off. Now, there's a good chance... There's a lot of chances that they, you know, it's going to happen that they're also ripping people off, as we've seen. So, let's start this off by, we got a post by Junior7284, who says, just throwing this out here, out there, uh, we got Belly Bro, Belly Bro Breaks, Triple B, baby, saying, hey guys, just wanted that uh, y'all know, to let y'all know that we uh, didn't have anyone left in the room, so we decided to rip. We ended up just ending the live and ripping since nobody was in there, which we decided probably wasn't too smart. We will have everything sent out that was hit on Monday morning. Thank you guys for the support. So, like, I'm calling full on bullshit on this. Okay. So, first of all, you don't have any customers that want to watch that are watching at that point in time that this is going to impact. So, there's no one pressing you that you have to do it then. There's no one pressing you that you have to stop being live. Like, wh what do you, are you on? Like, are you, are you using mobile data or something? Are you, you're not on like a home internet connection. So, like, even if for some reason you were so goddamn horny to get that shit done, to get that shit opened, yeah, wh like, what? Just like, just record it. Not to mention the fact that like you probably the people that are involved are impacted by whatever you're opening. I'm assuming they were WWE cards. That why would you not want them to be there for that? Like, if you just want to do a personal opening, just do a personal opening. But don't open other people's cards that paid to, for you to open crap. Paid to be involved in something, and then you do it without them. Like th this screams like something bad just went down here. They say, it won't happen again off camera. We decided that was pretty dumb, but we just didn't have anyone in the room, so we decided to cut it. We apologize for the mishap. It doesn't sound like a mishap. That sounds entirely planned, uh, and it sounds like you had bad intentions there. All right, we got a Token Talk 420 who says, Wow, when will sellers stop being so fucking dodgy? Here comes another video and investigation from Rattle Pokemon. I don't need to investigate this. This is just, this is just straight wrong, um, and, and saying that oh it was stupid of us. Like there's no there's no excuse here. If you can't do that, you you basically have to redo it. Whatever, depending on what it was. Uh, I don't I don't understand. Other than the fact that you're trying to rip people off, and you maybe you were hoping that they wouldn't care that you cut it. But they should care that you cut it. Like, why Why do they have to trust you beyond what you can already rip them off? Um, so we got belly bro breaks. Again, you can have 4.9 stars. You can have 5 stars and still be scamming people. We've seen it time and time again. Oh, my God, that's a lot of bellies. Oh, my God, that's a lot of wrestling cards. Again, uh, if, especially when you're trying to grow a channel. Uh, like, why wouldn't you want to wait for a time when there's people in, in on watching, people watching live? I don't get it. You don't get it because you were probably trying to rip people off. You were doing something sketchy. Uh, prove me wrong. Uh, right now, next, of two, two of three in this feature here. And again, this is like, it's not even just TCG. It's not even just Pokemon. This issue is everywhere. It's just, the rules need to be very, very black and white. Here it is. No gambling. If you want to do some kind of giveaway or something like that and you want to spin a wheel to do the giveaway, sure. 
but you shouldn't be allowed to purchase to get into the giveaway. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're in lottery territory. I know that they don't like to hear that word. I imagine that everyone from whatnot that's watching this video right now has got the chills. The same way the people, the razzle dazzles on Facebook and everything else, the waffles, the waffle doffles, those people. Yeah, it's, it's just a lottery. It's illegal. If you pay to enter into something to win something, it's, it's illegal. Now, when you have six different games that you're going through, uh, that you're doing weird shit, uh, like this example here, again, it's just competing. When people are bidding for something that isn't the actual item anymore, you're in bad territory. So here, this example is going to be uh, the high bid, high bid game. We got high bid game. So you're going to want to bid more than what you're bidding on stuff with the chance of get, winning something because you bid higher than anyone else throughout the entire stream. Can you guess where this is going? And again, whether this was intentional or not, by Retro Gamer 0221, they messed up. We got I am Astrea again. We're seeing the same names here on the uh, on the the whatnot app or Reddit. Maybe whatnot needs to fire their trust and safety department. Spoiler alert for what's coming up on the next one, on the uh, the segment number three for this one. But what like these people here are finding and doing more work than seemingly whatnot themselves. All right, let's see what we got here. Please, I'll try and pause it when I need to. This is the last number of the night right here. So he says this is the last number of the night right here. So again, when there's a high bid game, that's very important information. Surely he knows this. Surely everyone that's ever participated in a high bid game, surely anyone that just kind of knows what they're talking about. If this is the last item and people want to be the high bid of the entire thing so that they can win the high bid game, it's important when you say this is the last item that it is the last item. I guess I kind of just spoiled the video, but right there, you guys can get into it. Last number of the night, starting. Oh, that's starting at one forty-five. I'll wait. I'll give you a minute. Well, Jags forever said I'll get in. One hundred sixty-five dollar comic all day long. Saw was at one eighty. Brian Kinney's at one eighty-five. One ninety Jags forever. 190, 200 Vikes fans coming in. You're going to get your name on the wheel to win the... Now we got the highest bid going on. Highest bid going on to win that game up there. The graded game. And you get your name on the wheel for Metal Mac. Graded game right now is up. This is the last one, kids. Here we go. 225. So just in case earlier was a mistake, he just says once again that this is the last one. I have two. Hello, call Omre. JoJo coming in at $230. $230 for JoJo. Who's going to get the highest bid right now? It's going to be JoJo. And JoJo, no. JoJo is getting outbid. He's at $245 right now. $245. Who's going to take it down? Highest bid. And it is JoJo, but wait, there's one more. There is one more chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. JoJo won the last one, won the high bid. There's one more what? There's one more item? You said twice that this was the final item on two separate occasions here. Uh, do you not see the problem with that? JoJo may have gotten this one, and JoJo, congratulations. JoJo has the highest bid to win the Sega Saturn game. And JoJo, you got an entry on the wheel. Now, we had number 34 chat. Number 34, which is vacant, which I found on the floor. Okay. It was in a box on the floor. I know. I, let's just call it this. Okay. That's JoJo. Okay. Guys, this was number 34. I don't know why it didn't get in there. I don't know how it got falling out. Oh my goodness. What is this music playing through my like radio beside the phone? My yep, God. That's your last chance to win the highest game. This is it right there. No, the last that is one a was... $75 game shot. So the last one was the final chance. You can't do that. You, I don't, why, why does this, why, why does that not strike you as shady when you're doing it? 
If you do need to sell that last item for whatever reason and you don't want to include it with no highest bid chance at winning that game because you already said it was the last one, you already said that JoJo won, then sure, okay, like, okay, just in case anyone wants it, they can pay just regular price for whatever it is. There's no entry onto the other stuff because you said last one. You can't make somebody pay extra for a final item that isn't the final item because you advertise it as the final. Oh my God. This is why this is why you can't have games. You have a bunch of people that don't understand statistics, that don't understand, like, I don't know. Like, if this isn't malicious, then the guy is just fucking dumb. To not realize that, yes, that is going to impact. This is going to negatively impact the person that just purchased this. My God. All right, who we got Retro Gamer 0221 tries to rob his buyer out of a high bid game. Basically, the streamer was running a mystery bag stream 81123, and when it came down to the last bag, quotation last, he claimed multiple times that he, it was the last one, and this was for the high bid game if they bid, if they bid high enough. However, after someone bid 245 for roughly a $40 to $50 bag, he then told everyone how there was actually one more bag and another chance for the previous buyer, Jojo, to be outbid. This is this so-called bag was apparently left in a box on the floor and mistakenly not put up for something weird or something weird like that. Everyone in chat, even the mods, were saying that Jojo deserved the high bid game and this was wrong to do as the streamer. Fortunately for Jojo, nobody outbid them. Uh, on out of respect and the streamer got saved out of a possible scandal uh no i don't know i, I mean it's still scandal enough it's clearly like you should have thought it through you should be reading the chat you should be like even if you even if you oopsie doopsie there you should say you know what guys you're right jojo needs to win we're, we're gonna put this one up just in case anyone anyone really wants this game and we're just bidding on the game only. There's no additional super duper prizes, wheelie dealies, big energy, big boner games to, to win the prizes in the background. Like, holy crap. This is also the same streamer who posted in my r slash shitty game collecting post about his $750 UFC 2 graded game. Oh God, do we want to do we, we want to check this? I haven't looked at this yet. And thank you for uh, for taking me here. Much appreciated. Uh, this graded inflation BS has got to stop. I'm going to assume that that is not a $750 game. U UFC 2. It's grading sports games. 20 years it would be worth nine ninety nine. dollars Alright, interesting. Um, now, alright, alright. So, yeah, still there. We got 4.9 stars. Very cool. Did we get the wrong? Did we get... No, we got the right one. We're good. Okay, now, number three. Not to confuse ourselves here. We have Siegfried. Siegfried Pops is a scammer. Please beware. I feel like if you have anything to do with Funko Pops, you're probably a little bit more likely to be uh, a scammer of some kind. I don't know what it is. They're, they're just they're just Funko. They're funky. They're funky. They make you want to do bad things, I think. That's what it's coming to. Maybe it's something that leeches out of the plastic. That once it gets on your hand... Even even if it's in the box, it probably seeps out uh, and it gets into your brain at night. Hi, all. I just received a package from C Sig Siegfried Fried Pops. Is it supposed to be Siegfried Pops? Siegfried or Sig Siege Fried? <laughs> we'll just call them. We'll call them Fried Pops. SFP for short. This was in the Funko category a few moments ago. I had won a giveaway in his stream. I wasn't even... It wasn't even his own giveaway. It was someone that bought a random giveaway pop off his Buy It Now section, and it happened to have picked me. I opened the 4x6 box, and it was only stuffed with pieces of cardboard. No pop at all. I have screenshots if needed. Uh, so here we go. We got some uh, nice little little info here. We got uh, the Santa Jack scented. They make scented pops? Really? What? Are there glow-in-the-dark ones, too? I try not to look at them. They're they're terrible. I'm sorry if you like them, but they're just they're not my thing. Again, if if it does it for you, if you get off on the on the old pop figures, go to town. But to me, I don't know. They're just like they're like a combination of beanie babies and those like troll dolls with the with the hair, the little outfits where they can be like firefighters and nurses and crap. <laughs> the Santa Jack scented one. Scented was the one that was supposed to be have been sent via sponsored gift from the kind-hearted Shafe Collectibles. 
Um, so I don't know if that's like an expensive one or something like that. There's an ongoing issue with sellers, big sellers, small sellers that just don't ship or they ship empty crap, um, claiming that it got lost or whatever. Uh, and then like whatnot refunds. And I would imagine that they refund the price of whatever the purchase was, which is kind of like if it's a pack or if it's whatever it is, if it's, if it's, if the price does not exceed what the actual card is, you end up with like some really sketchy scenarios uh, where potentially your seller just doesn't send it. They're like, okay, I'll eat the cost, even if they have to refund the price of whatever it was. And then they keep it if they don't want to send it out, if they want to keep it. We've seen that where it like pops up later on from the same seller for sale again. It's, and man, there's some, there's some like sketchy things that can be going on there. I don't know if if the rules need to change on whatnot to make that a little bit more... I don't know how you prevent that. I'm not sure exactly. If anyone has suggestions, maybe people, uh, maybe the the seller has to refund the price of the card if that's not already the case. Pretty sure they just have to. They're just responsible for the price of the the purchase. So if the purchase exceeds that price, they can potentially rip off their customer and keep it. But this uh, this looks real bad. They say, I have contacted Whatnot already and I'm awaiting their response. Please do note that Siegfried Pops is an employee of Whatnot. He is in the Trust and Safety Department. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Um, I don't trust the Trust and Safety Department. We've seen the lack of action that they've taken on a lot of things. We've seen the fact that Craig somehow didn't get banned, even though he owns own part of, owns, oh, probably still owns part of Blake's Breaks. I don't know how you own part of something that doesn't exist anymore or that kind of won't exist anymore but own part of that profited off the fact that Blake and the gang were ripping people off scamming people with the energy games scamming people with the open packs uh, that were used to do that same energy match the energy nonsense because they weren't mappable because they were probably from separate products or something and it's just like countless things the mystery boxes and like and, and Craig just kind of gave him a pass. Everyone internally that I've talked to is all pointing the finger at Craig, who had kind of had the, the power to do something about it, had the power to prevent anything being done against Blake, who was his best man. I don't like I don't know if you can have more conflict of interest there. But it just proves that, like, internally, like, not only is whatnot rotten on the outside, where we're seeing, like, all these scammers on there, but they're also rotten at the core. The employees, the actual employees, the actual staff that are there, the backbone, whatever you want to call it, the internal organs of whatnot are fucking rotten. So what do you... With, of course, the rest of the platform is going to reflect that. It's just... It's like... It's online casino, free-for-all porno, drugs, ripping people off. And sometimes you get banned for it. If there's enough attention on it, I guess. If they have to. But then it's okay. You just, you're Craig and you hide for a couple of weeks and then you come back and you're moderating whatnot official streams and you're streaming and like nothing ever happened. Oh, I swear I wasn't part of it. I definitely didn't make money off all those scams. I just wanted everyone to be aware going forward. I've heard from other buyers that he has done similar sketchy things to other people as well. Just thought I'd bring this up to anyone's attention. Please feel free to comment or message me for proof. Edit, this is also the same person that I hosted. A fundraiser with many of the top Funko sellers on the app that donated Pops to auction. All proceeds went directly to his account because he said he had medical bills to pay for. Again... I'm not saying that there's not people that end up in a, a situation where they need help with some medical bills or uh, family, whatever, emergency, st stuff like that. But, like, if you're ripping people off and you're also doing that, like, there's a lot of people that will use it. So they'll, they'll, they'll say they're doing it for the kids. They'll say they're doing it for medical bills. They'll say they're doing it for whatever. Did he spend all his money on fucking pop figures and then he didn't have money for medical bills? Is that what we're dealing with here? We raised almost $10,000 for him and his family, not recently after. He all of a sudden claimed that everyone was against him and blocked slash badmouth many of us that helped. Also some pics for proof. Yeah, so, um, great, great.
Um, and you know what? I don't know. If, if you'd like to talk, Siegfried, if you would like to have a chat uh, and explain how this was like a misunderstanding of some kind, if you'd like to uh, chat with me and, and talk, we can talk about uh, how whatnot has been uh, lacking action against scammers of any kind. Again, we get the blue check mark of like, again, this might as well be like a little rotten apple core or something. Like, like the, oh my god, this platform is stupid. Guys, I, whatnot. I don't know, can whatnot even fix itself? Maybe I'm asking for something that's just impossible. Like, if, if even the employees are scammers, are pulling shit like this, are exploiting the fact that, like, maybe they just had to pay out, like, what the, the cost of the item was, the cost of the purchase, or maybe they were upset with this individual. I don't know what to think. I don't, I, 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 I have, um, I mean, I, I can't say my expectations for the platform were very high before looking into the platform, but now that I've looked at it way too much, I was like, how the hell do people spend money on here? How? What the fuck? It blows my mind. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, you guys are the best. Join my Discord. Come on in there. It's, it's a blast. You'll have a great time, I promise. Pinky promise. See you there.